Hey guys, it's Marty, and today we're going to take a look at these Marshalls colored pencils. Now these people have been requesting that I take a look at these for a long time. They might be a little bit obscure for regular colored pencil artists, you, or if you're just any kind of other artist, a painter or whatever, you may not be familiar with these pencils. But what they are is they're primarily used for photo retouching. So if you have an old black and white photo and you want to take a copy of it and add color to it, you can use these, or if, if colors faded in your photographs, you, you might use these to retouch the color as well uh, that way. But these are made in the Czech Republic by Koinor, a company called Koinor in the Czech Republic. They come in two different sets, a set A and a set B. Sometimes you'll see them called something else, but generally uh, they come in two sets. Now, to get all of the colors shown here, you'll have to buy both sets. And I did find that although there were no colors duplicated, there are an awful lot of similar colors. In addition to that, um, like there's three different kinds of yellows and three different kinds of greens. Unfortunately, there's no reds uh, in either one of these sets. There are some colors that come close to red, but no real red. So what I'm going to do here, uh, as I look at these pencils, they, they come in two different kinds of shapes. A tri-shape or a triangular shape, and then a hexagonal, six-sided shaped pencil. So my set, uh, both of the sets came with a mix of both types. I don't know if that was intentional or if they just ran on a stock of the one color and had to insert them, or if they make different colors in different sizes but not other colors, whatever. I just uh, uh, got them in two different kinds of shapes in the two packets. Now I've swatched out all the colors there, and I like how bright they are, and now I was just doing a little blending and mixing with the pencils using two different kinds of colors. Since I don't have a red, I had to use this pink to try to get close to purple. And you could say I was able to achieve that, but not very easily, because again, I was missing the red. Um, now here I'm going to do a little layering with these. So one layer, two layers, then one, two, three layers. One, two, three, four layers, and on and so forth. Um, until I get 10 layers down because I just want to see uh, with these pencils if there's any sort of waxing or blooming with the pencils and just make sure that's not happening with these. And, and, and the other thing is that like it's hard to find information on these pencils. Um, like if you go to the Koinor website, they don't even list Marshalls or at least I couldn't find them. So they probably manufacture them so they can be rebranded by the Marshall company and sold in America. Whatever, but the issue is that I couldn't find like a lot of information on whether or not these were wax or oil-based pencils. Now, like I said, most websites list them as oil-based pencils, and it's not easy to tell sometimes with pencils, but here's like some of the bottom line from information I've learned. If you look at a pencil and it says it's a wax pencil, the predominant ingredient in that pencil in the core is probably wax, but that doesn't mean there isn't clay or oil or other materials in that core. Same with an oil pencil. Maybe the predominant uh, ingredient is oil, uh, an oil-based um, core, but you're going to have a wax as well in there and more than likely a clay. So just a little FYI on that. And um, uh, if anybody has any additional comments or thoughts on that, you can just post it in the comments section and maybe help me out if I'm misunderstanding or I said something that was um, not accurate there. But I, uh, at least in most of the pencil companies I contact, they always say, well, we, it's a mix of things in the core. Um, and so uh, it's not just like, if they say it's a, a wax core, it's not just pure wax in there. Because I think ultimately that would be way too soft. So they add the clay and different hardnesses of clay just to see how that um, will help the pencil with its hardness. Now one thing I did notice when I was swatching these pencils out is they are they are a little bit on the hard side so they're um, not easy to break and stuff like that and, you, and they hold a point a little longer than ordinary um, an ordinary colored pencil would. Okay so here I was using a Derwent blender. Derwent blender is made by the Derwent Pencil Company, Cumberland Pencil Company if you want to get technical but you can pick this blender up anywhere like uh, Blick or most art suppliers and so I just use that that blender colorless blender to sort of blend blend this uh, uh, Marshall's color here and it, and it did a pretty nice job 
no issues there really. I mean, there, you can still see some remnants of the line there, but I could see where uh, these would blend nicely with that. Now, I did recently come across a new product uh, in my local art store, which is Wet Paint in St. Paul, Minnesota. Go visit them at wetpaintart.com. This is a finesse blender made in Japan, and primarily it says it's marketed for wax-based pencils. So it's a wax-based pencil blender, but I thought, I mean, it was like five bucks, so I thought I'd pick it up and try it on uh, these pencils, even though they say they're oil-based, because remember what I just got done saying was, like most colored pencils aren't exclusively just wax or just oil. Um, they're a mix of clay and oil, and uh, as I said. So anyway, I thought I'd give this a try with this finesse blender and see if it, uh, if I could uh, get a good blend with it. So here I've got a close up here and you can see it is actually blending the color here, which I was pretty surprised about since it said primarily for wax. So, I mean, it doesn't do a perfect job, but it blends okay. And again, that finesse blender is made in Japan. So here I'm going to try a little eraser test here, and you can see that's my first eraser mark. And here's my second one, and they erase pretty nicely. Um, you can always see a little remnant of the color, but uh, these do well. And I was just trying to see if I could erase where I'd already blended and it doesn't work that well. So uh, here's my sharpening, and that's one pencil I just sharpened, and I noticed there was some breakage around the casing. so. Um, I wanted to try a second pencil just to see if maybe um, I was holding the pencil wrong or it was just one unique pencil that I was having problems with, but I can, you can see here I get some additional chipping, and that's sort of from a cheaper core, you can see here. And that's going to be a problem later on when you go to use the pencil. If you sharpen too fast, you'll get that chipping and then the, the core won't stay as uh, you'll, you'll have an easier chance to break the core as you press down. Here's some comparison here. I just wanted to give a quick comparison to some other pencils, reviews I've done in the past. Now here's a Brunzeel. That's a Dutch made pencil and um, you can sort of see the color comparison there. And then next I'll try uh, the Lyra, which is a German made. It's the polycolor pencil and you can see the colors are maybe just a little bit more vibrant and then I'll try a Prismacolor Premier and believe it or not despite the chipping on these pencils and some of the uh, some of the issues I had there I actually prefer them I think over the Prismacolor Premier pencils here's the Stedler Ergosoft and you can see there I'd say on par with those or slightly I wouldn't say slightly better I'd say slightly lower quality than the Stedlers and next try the Derwents now I prefer the Derwents to these for sure um, and obviously the better color choices again these are photo retouching pencils if you want to get technical about it so uh, but I think they work for just about any other colored pencil work you might want to uh, do with them. All right here's the Pentel colored pencils and I definitely prefer them over the Pentel Arts colored pencils for sure. Just they're a little bit more vibrant, a little bit more um, vivid, and they just are a little bit nicer. Now these are the Faber-Castell Max Eco pencils which I reviewed not long, not long ago and they're the more inexpensive Faber-Castell colored pencil you know the polychromos is the big daddy but um, I still like the Max Ecos slightly better than these I don't know what it is about the Faber-Castell pencils they're just great quality is there and everything now try next the Marco Ruffini which are quite popular right now because I think they're pretty inexpensive and they're, and they're not bad pencils 
And so that was a mix of pencil comparisons, both um, wax and oil pencil. So it's just a quick, uh, this is just a quick do-over of that or another look. And you can sort of see here, um, they stack up pretty well against some of the other pencils I've reviewed in the past and you know, judge for yourself, but the colors are strong and I mean, they're not bad. It's just that there's a concentration of colors in certain areas. That's probably because of photo retouching requires those pencils, but I was just a little disappointed there was no red in the mix. So um, anyway, we'll move on to the drawing demonstration here and I can put these to the test here uh, on an actual drawing. So I picked a, an apple, an orange, and a banana to draw, a little still life here. Now these are just quick sketches, so um, you know that's what they are. But remember I mentioned not having a red in the, uh, in the set, so luckily I'm a professional, so I know how to mix colors a little bit to get a red, uh, a red. so that's just what I did. You know, I used fuchsia and some other colors to get a little bit richer red and then a pink and then I'd go back over that again and you know you can you can get a red if there's enough colors in the set to get a red out and so that's just what I did so um, you can mix it to achieve what you want but not to have that is kind of a, a bummer now I wonder if for photo retouching if you could use just a regular oil based colored pencil I mean what makes Marshall so special that they are exclusively photo retouching pencils or whatever and I don't know that there is anything and I couldn't find a lot of information out there and again I didn't try to retouch a photo using a pencil but I would be willing to bet that you could use other oil based pencils to sort of do the same thing I haven't tried it again so if you if you have let me know or drop a line in the comments section and uh, let me know if you got any experience doing that with these particular pencils So here's my ratings for these. The hardness was good. I didn't get a lot of chipping of the pencil or breakage or anything like that. And I thought they kept a point a nice long time. The core is good. Colors are solid with the one exception of there's not enough variety of reds here. But again, that could be related to photo retouching. Sharpening was bad because I experienced those chippings, not, not on one pencil, but on multiple pencils. So the core, the casing needs to be better. Raceability was good. Quality was okay. Value just a 6.5 because they are $12.99 set. So here's my final rating. I, these aren't pencils I'd rush out and buy uh, for colored pencil work, but if you're doing photo retouching or things like that or just basic sketching and you want to spend a few bucks to check out uh, these pencils, I, I'd say go for it. Um, they're just okay for me, like I said. So, but if you have some thoughts about these or you have any experience or you, you, you've used these at all in your work or for photo retouching, please leave a note in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Or if you have any additional questions about these pencils, don't forget to leave me a comment or question. Well, uh, thanks for stopping by. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like I said, comment. I always love to hear from you guys. Share the video if you found it interesting. That always helps as well. And uh, that's probably it for today. All right. Well, this has been Marty for OwingsArt.com. So long, everybody. Have a great day.